Super Bang! ATM back again with another BPS battle point system. Went ahead and scored that new RBE closure card, Hitman Hollow vs. Bill Collector. A lot of history was going down before this battle. You guys are familiar with the fights and everything. Show off, knotted up Bill's head. So it was a lot of uh, tension in the room, so to speak. And a lot of Bill Collector's raps were aimed at show off more than uh, Bill than uh, Hitman. But nonetheless, it was a great battle. Go ahead and start it off with Hitman's first round. It was a little bit slow to start, but he built it up right towards the middle rounds. You see a lot of those. Let's go ahead and explain it. One point for a bar. Another point for a, two points for a dope bar. Three points for a fire bar. Four points for a bang. Five for a haymaker. And you score them accordingly. Each one of these rows this way is a four bar section. So you take the total number of points in the whole round and then you divide it by the number of four bars that they had so it helps with things like length when Bill Collector goes a little bit longer than Hitman nonetheless um, it was good man Hitman came back after a little bit of hiatus after battling who's he battled last was it Tay Rock? yeah so I mean it was a nice comeback for Hitman smaller stage than the URL but he still showed up you can see all these bangs in here a lot of little build up but the payoff made sense right there then he started off with bangs back to back right there, the nice little section of rebuttals. And then he started addressing a lot of things like, why are we even here? This is not closure for who? Closure for you, not for me. You know what I'm saying? So he ended out the round pretty good right there. You can see the thorough point scored towards the end. I got him with a 65, and then he had 13 four bar sections, so five points total for the first round. Bill Collector's first round. He started off a real slow in this first round, too. You can see all the just the bars. He was just talking to him. A few fires mixed in there. A couple bangs towards the end. Not really any haymakers or too, too much consistent fire bars. It was a lot of dry spots, not very many dope stuff. Just a lot of talking to him, explaining, you know. So it's really ancestral as far as and you'd have to watch and know the history of between these two before you were able to be like, what the hell is he even talking about? Nonetheless, Bill Collector came out short in his first round, man. I got him 57 points. He had 15 four-bar four bar sections, 3.8 compared to Hitman's five. It's pretty much a wash on that first round right there. Second round, Hitman comes out consistent, man. He His payoff made sense. His buildup right here was good because it paid off with a lot of more bangs and fire bars, balances right there. A couple dope bar sections mixed in. But nonetheless, he was consistent through this whole round. You can see the end of his second right here also ended pretty dope. A lot of quality content. And I gave him another 67 points for this round. 5.15. It was a great round for Hitman right there. <clears throat> Bill second. He comes out. He's starting to pick up the momentum, the pace, getting the jokey stuff. Because his first round, he wanted to be serious and, you know, Tried to be a little bit more serious. And in the second round, he let the jokes loose a little bit. Some of them were hitting. Had some fire bars in there. A lot of dope bars. But he mixed it up and let in with some haymakers. Uh, not haymakers. Some bangs right towards the end of the first. So I mean second. So it was a good transition for Bill right there. He ended it off eh, kind of alright. But 60 points for Bill in his second, which gave him a 5. So Hitman 5.1. Bill 5. First, uh, second round. Third round, we got Hitman came out here. This was a great Hitman haul around, man. He was bar heavy in this battle. Much respect to Hitman for coming through with, you know what I'm saying? He'd never been one of my top battlers, but his content was off the chain. And you can tell it was different because Bill Collector was trying to be funny with stuff that wasn't funny. And Hitman made stuff that wasn't funny funny. Okay, so if you know what I'm saying, it was a great battle. Look at all those consistent bangs in there. Bang after bang. Hitman just hit him with fire bars. Transitions and the lead ups were dope right there. And it was a good consistent. It was a little bit longer. It was about almost a 16 longer than the second round. But it was some great content right there. I gave him 88 points. He still scored a 5.18 because due to the length of that. If it was the same length as the second round. He would have had higher than a 5.5 right there. Bill Collector comes out in his third, and this was a fucking bar-heavy bill, too, man. Look at all these. These guys were fighting in that second, I mean, that last third round. A lot of consistent dopes, a lot of dope bars, built up some fire bars, bunch of bangs mixed in right there. Great battle. I got uh, Bill Collector with the 80, 5.3 in the last round. So if we add up Bill Collector's scores, total, 
14.13 for Bill Collector for the total rounds. Hitman Holla beat him with a 15.3. Watched him every round on average and points. And uh, it was a good battle. It wasn't as much as a blowout as people want to make it seem. Shout out to Bill Collector for doing his thing and coming prepared with some quality rounds. Shout out to Hitman for not letting the, oh, I'm too big for this shit, get in the way of really coming with quality content. So again, this is ATN the Professional, the BPS, the Battle Point System. We're scoring these battles. We're making it real and something got to give. Again, it's 1.4 a bar. Two points for a dope bar, three points for a fire bar, four for a bang, five for a haymaker. And you judge each four bar section from the one of the two, the three to the four. Each one is a section. Add up the total number of sections and divide it by the points you got. And it takes away the, oh, well, he rapped longer and he rapped longer. No, guess what? Shout out to LT for his addition to the system. And uh, now we're here. So we got Hitman Holla beating him by a whole point. A little bit more than the whole point. And if you average it out, that's close to about a half a round. So shout out to Hitman Holla. Shout out to RBE for the dope ass battle. Shout out to all the uh, battle rap is life. Love us out there for the culture. We got to make it right, man. Feel free to offer your comments and suggestions. Things ain't always what they seem when you take your time to watch these things. MrIDIA.com.